Well, uh, scrimmage two in the books. Um, I was a little worried early. I didn't think they had real good juice and energy in the indie periods in the seven on seven. But once the scrimmage started, they had uh, good energy, good enthusiasm. I was really pleased with the scrimmage. Uh, it was the first scrimmage since I've been here that I thought uh, both sides of the ball did some things well. There was some momentum changes in the scrimmage where one part of the scrimmage defense did a little better than one part of the scrimmage the offense did a little better. Did a lot of situational football today. Put the ball out there and say it's coming out. Put the ball out there, it's red area. Put the ball out there, it's 30 seconds, need a field goal, you know, one time out and give them some scenarios and just play them out. Did about four or five end of the game situations. Did a get the ball back situation. Did a second and 10 and third down period, which all was live. So it was uh, it was good practice for us, good, uh, good tackling, and um, good time to get out there and hit people. So I was pleased with the way things went. Um, neither side really dominated. I can honestly say that it was a very competitive uh, battle, and I thought there was a lot of good things out of the scrimmage. It sounds like this was not a uh, G-Day re dress rehearsal, per se, but this was offense versus defense like a normal scrimmage. Well, the G-Day's offense versus defense, right? And this is this today was actually more like the G-Day as far as we put the ball out there and just said play, and we had the offense versus the defense, where we sometimes on these scrimmages, we do ones versus twos and twos versus ones. We didn't do that today. We went ones on ones, twos on twos, which is how – G day is because it's ones on ones and twos on twos in G day. No, we didn't have the jersey colors, but we did ones versus ones and twos versus twos because I thought that the competition would be better and that that worked out good because the competition was a little better. We probably had it was a little more lopsided the last time we scrimmaged because we did some ones versus twos and twos versus ones. So I thought it made for better competition today. Yeah, Tuesday wasn't real encouraging, but um, but Thursday was much better. And then today, I mean, I can't say that we dominated defensively out there. They certainly made some good plays. It was just there was a lot of good hits, spirits, run to the ball. I mean, when you got good backs, there's going to be missed tackles. When you got a, a quarterback that can uh, can make some throws, there's going to be some one-on-one -on -one battles outside that you just don't win. But I was very encouraged by how hard they played. When you look back at how much you guys struggled at times on offense last year, see some of the things that they're able to do, whether you're not happy with the defense or not. I mean, are, are you encouraged by that? Are you still in wait-and-see mode about that? I mean, how, how are you kind of approaching that? Defense? Yeah, I, I think you're always in wait-and-see mode when you, as a coach because you're trying to get better. So I think we've improved some things, but we've got some things we got to improve on. Um, you know, we've got to be able to run the ball consistently better, and we did that early in the spring. But I, I can't say that we did it the whole time today. There was times where we ran out at running it, and we didn't get much movement, and you know, it started to be flashbacks. And we got to be able to do that. Um, we got to be creative and get the ball to the playmakers in space and allow them to do things. We got some plays to do that with. Um, but I think I think Jacob specifically has taken good strides, but he has to continue to make good decisions and get the ball in the right spot. Oh, it's really good. I mean, because the guy's really fast, physical, hard to tackle. Um, he's, he's, his, his big roadblock has been for him to really work on catching the ball out of the backfield even better and becoming a weapon in that way. And he's done a good job of that in the last two scrimmages. Well, I think it's going to be huge for him. I, I think just his health in and of itself. I mean, the guy's uh, he's a different guy this spring compared to last spring for obvious reasons. But I think that you know more about last fall by what you see this spring out of Nick that uh, he's uh, a lot closer to 100%. He's certainly got a lot more burst and power. Knowing what he's capable of, is, I mean, what kind of management is there in terms of his reps and stuff like that? I mean, I know you got, he's a known quantity, but at the same time you guys know he can get better as well. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think he and Sony both are a known quantity. Somebody that's played three years in this conference over that amount of time. We certainly have those guys out there doing everything with everybody else, but they're not going to get as many totes as some of the younger guys. Can you, uh, what have you seen from uh, Holloman in terms of uh, his contribution so far? Well, the number one thing is he's uh, very consistent 
Like he's not like most of these freshmen come in, you know, and they're up and down, emotional. I'm really good one day. I'm really bad. This kid is just just like that. He just stays level headed. Doesn't get affected by criticism. Um, he's he's had some days that he might be inconsistent catching the ball, but. He's never inconsistent with how hard he practices, meaning he had the highest GPS for the receivers like three straight, three straight days, meaning he's running the longest. He's really physical. When you talk to the DBs, they're like, well, this guy brings a little thump to him, and he's not afraid of contact. He made a couple of good plays today as well.